हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द नाइनटीन वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इनसाइड द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन मशीन लर्निंग सो दिस लेक्चर इज अबाउट द डिफरेंट लिस्ट ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग अलगोरिज्म सो इन अ लास्ट कपल ऑफ वीडियो वी हैव सीन अबाउट द टू क्लास ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग अलगोरिज्म लर्निंग स्टाइल वे वी हैव डिवाइड द होल क्लास ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग अलगोरिज्म एंड सिमिलरिटी बेज वी हैव डिवाइडेड होल क्लास ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग अलगोरिज्म सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट दिस न्यूरल नेटवर्क रिलेटेड अलगोरिज्म डायमेंशनैलिटी रिडक्शन रिलेटेड अलगोरिदम डीप लर्निंग अलगोरिदम प्लस एंडसेम्बल अलगोरिदम्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वन बाय वन सो वी हैव सीन गॉन थ्रू दिस सुपरवाइज लर्निंग अनसुपरवाइज वे ऑफ लर्निंग रिग्रेशन अलगोरिदम डिसीजन ट्री अलगोरिदम ई वी डिस्कस अबाउट द एसोसिएशन रूल माइनिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अबाउट द न्यूरल नेटवर्क एंड डीप लर्निंग अलगोरिदम सो दिस इज द वेरी फेमस राइट नाउ इन अ करंट स्टेट ऑफ आर्ट टेक्नोलॉजी इन द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग फील्ड सो दिस फैमिली ऑफ अलगोरिदम आर इंस्पायर्ड बाई द ब्रेन हाउ ब्रेन वर्क सो दिस इज कम्प्लीटली इंस्पायर्ड बाई द ब्रेन अलगोरिदम हाउ द जनरली ब्रेन इज वर्किंग दिस इज वन ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ आर्ट टेक्नोलॉजी इन साइड द मशीन लर्निंग सो वॉट वी डीड इन दिस सेट ऑफ फैमिलीज ऑफ अलगोरिदम वी दिस इज वन ऑफ द सुपरवाइज वे ऑफ लर्निंग अलगोरिदम सो वी प्रोवाइड द इनपुट इंडिविजुअल डेटा टू द इंडिविजुअल नोड ऑफ द सिस्टम दिस इंडिविजुअल नोड इज नथिंग बट the neurons of artificial neural uh, network and these are the output so we provide the huge huge bunch of data and we apply a couple of learning algorithm like a back propagation algorithm or any other advanced learning algorithm so it will generate the weights this individual arrow is nothing but the weight you can correlate this individual arrow with the synapses in our brain and individual this round shape node is nothing but the neuron in our actual brain so these are the brain inspired algorithm the way brain works there are some of the principle we have inherited from that and we have model it inside this artificial neural network so we provide a huge huge bunch of data and for based on data and it will pro forward propagate from this one layer to the second layer to the third layer and it will generate the classification task so for that actually these are the couple of list of algorithm i have listed here there is a perceptron and a feed forward neural network there are others like a radial basis uh, neural network plus hopeful the uh, neural network in a current uh, uh, state of our technology this deep learning is uh, another sub field of the this neural network uh, field uh, this has become a so much high because it has almost overtake the error rate in terms of state of the art technology which is being used by other learning algorithm so these are all like a deep boltzmann machine convolution neural network specially or mostly used for image related uh, classification or image recognition kind of a stack auto encoder uh, kind of neural network so these are all uh, different variants of the same uh, neural network kind of algorithm uh, let's see where in industry some of the place uh, this deep learning kind of uh, fields have has almost excel actually so if you use the android phone most of the time so android speech recognition was error rate is drastically down because of this neural network algorithm so google is using in android speech this deep learning algorithm google photo you can categorize whole set of your uh, photo into different different uh, uh, categories so those kind of automatic photo and a contain inside that photo detection task has been possible due to this neural network and deep learning algorithm google even built this uh, self driving uh, car so while watching ahead uh, that what are the uh, possible uh, ways that particular car has gone that all decision has been uh, taken by this deep learning algorithm so these are all families of neural network or artificial neural network kind of uh, algorithm in a future lecture we will see individual algorithm and we will even implement it google has already uh, released one open source library tensorflow so we will implement those algorithm inside the tensorflow so that's it for uh, neural network uh, now let's see about the another set of family of algorithm like a dimensional uh, reduction 
algorithm so what is dimension uh, reduction algorithm will do it is uh, not a set of uh, kind of particular learning algorithm but you can classify it as a pre-processing task for the data so it may happen that your data may be in a very 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 huge dimension suppose the individual record contains even a 1 million pixel or 1 million feature so for uh, processing on that 1 million pixel or a 1 million uh, data for just individual record it requires a huge amount of computation power plus huge amount of uh, memory so it won't be possible to deal with so this dimensional reduction algorithm will be very helpful so what this dimensional reduction algorithm will do that will transform this data from the higher dimension to the lower dimension provided it preserves the maximum amount of energy even in a lower dimension so with the help of this very small cartoon type of picture I have uh, shown this uh, data is transforming from this three dimensional space to the two dimensional space but in the reality the, the dimension will be very very huge like a uh, hundred thousand even a one million uh, dimension ten thousand dimension to so it will drastically reduce to suppose thousand dimension even a five hundred uh, dimension so whatever data you were representing with the one million pixel you can represent the same data with just the five hundred pixel or hundred thousand pixel or even ten thousand pixel so eventually this ki kind of algorithm will be helpful for the data compression uh, also where lossy data compression is desired uh, effect so for that i have listed some couple of uh, algorithm like uh, this pca which is nothing but the principal component analysis so while transforming from higher dimension to the lower dimension it just take uh, those dimension which uh, which preserves the maximum energy of the data there is another like a uh, lda linear discriminant an analysis there is a one auto encoder which we have seen in a last slide about the neural network set of family of uh, algorithm so this set of family of algorithm will be generally useful for the data pre-processing that you can transform data from very 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 high dimension space to the very low dimensional space and you can start processing for your uh, further applying machine learning algorithm so that is for the dimensionality reduction algorithm now let's see another set of family of algorithm that is ensemble algorithm so this ensemble algorithm is uh, is not a particular uh, fam kind of algorithm but uh, this family of algorithm what it does there are a huge set of families of different different algorithm and individual algorithm inside this machine learning uh, system has its own pros and cons there is a one famous uh, sentence in machine learning there is no free lunch theorem uh, uh, exists free lunch uh, exists in this world so that means that uh, if you try to apply some machine learning algorithm on some data it works fine but the same machine al learning algorithm won't work on a some other kind of data but that for that data you need to apply suppose some other machine learning algorithm so there is no generic rule that particular machine learning algorithm will be very helpful to apply on all huge huge uh, amount of set of different kind of uh, data so what this ensemble al kind of algorithm will do it will combine the multiple weaker models so what it does uh, you apply uh, uh, machine learning different different machine learning algorithm like a on the top of data like a model 1 model 2 and model 3 you get the uh, result on the top of that and this machine learning al uh, ensemble kind of algorithm will decide that based on which models output I will decide the actual output so this set of family of algorithm will take the input from whole set of machine learning different algorithm and based on the output of individual uh, algorithm it will decide what kind of um, uh, output or what weightage I to have to give to particular model what weightage I, I have to give to another kind of model should I give more weightage to particular model or should I give less weightage to another kind of model based on the data so this ensemble algorithm will be very uh, will be very helpful when you are trying to combine multiple uh, machine learning model into one single machine learning system so these are the set of algorithm like a bootstrap algorithm or random forest algorithm random forest is uh, one of the very famous uh, 
uh, one in the machine learning community uh, like we have seen earlier in a decision trees that how that decision tree has been uh, uh, has been created based on data so kind of a classification algorithm but it may happen that if you use another decision tree algorithm you will get another kind of model if you use another decision tree algorithm you will get even another kind of model so there are a huge set of families of different model can be possible so what this random forest will do it will take the output from all these individual model and it will decide what can be the best output or even a majority watts so for that this random forest will be helpful it will combine whole set of family of different machine learn uh, decision trees uh, model so uh, one very good example of uh, uh, industrial system of this ensemble algorithm is IBM Watson so IBM Watson is uh, actually a question answering system so uh, this system won't uh, depend on a very single algorithm but IBM Watson has been built around a huge set of uh, different uh, machine learning algorithm and those output will be given to this ensemble kind of uh, my learning algorithm which will eventually decide that which model output I should take or what kind of which model output I should give a more word or a less word to decide this actual output okay so that's it uh, for this ensemble algorithm uh, and that's it for this lecture also I hope you enjoy listening to this video in a future lecture we will see about uh, uh, more machine learning algorithm and we'll start even implementing inside this uh, scikit learn and a tensorflow related li library if you don't understand anything please do comment and please do comment like subscribe